Hey everyone and welcome to the sixth video of this playlist where I will show you 30 CSF properties in 30 days. So in this sixth day, uh, I will show you the property text. Okay. Before starting this video, hit the like button and if you are new, subscribe to Techie Web Dev and press all notifications so you will never miss any future videos. Now let's continue with our topic. Okay, so let me just first show you this uh, we have a simple p tag here okay and uh, it is very small so let me just first uh, increase its font size so i will target this p tag and i will increase its font size or uh, not font font size and let's say 7 rem okay and let's see and as you can see here it is now great okay so there are many sub properties in the text one okay so we will take a look at them okay so let's type text and as you can see here there are many properties different ones text align decoration transform shadow indent and many more okay so let's just uh, take a look at text align okay so what will happen if i just uh, type center in text align okay so uh, let me just save it and as you can see here our text is now in center okay so it is very useful to place your text in center okay okay and make sure it only applies to text and not any divs or any other tags okay it only applies to text okay not image or any video or anything else okay it only applies to text all right and as you can see here we have left right also so if i just write as you can see here it is now at the right corner okay so this is how you can change the position of the text very easily okay with the help of text align all right and uh, let's see one more property of text and here it is it is text shadow okay so this is also one of the uh, main properties you will use to make your site beautiful okay so as the name suggests it will create a shadow underneath your text okay so the syntax of that you have to define how far you want the shadow okay so how far from the original text you want the shadow so if i will just write 5 pixel at uh, this this 5 pixel right here is for y axis and when i will write another 5 pixel this will be for x axis okay so if i will just save it and let's see and as you can see here we have a shadow of this okay which is 5 pixel from x axis and y axis okay and you can also change the color also okay so let's say if i will just write red and the sh uh, the color of the shadow will change but the original color of the text will remain same okay so this is how you can create a shadow of a text okay and one more property you can see if i will write uh, in in between this color and five pixel if i will write another uh, let's say two pixel so this one is for blur okay how much blur you want in your shadow so let's save it and take a look and as you can see here uh, if you can see our the, the red color is now blur okay uh, let me just do this real quick so that you can see properly now okay um, oops all right so now you can see both the screens at once and it will be easier for you okay so um if i will just increase this two pixel to 20 pixel as you can see here the blur increases okay so this is how um, you can increase the blur okay and you can create awesome effects all right and uh, one last thing i want to show you is how to create a 3d text effect with this text shadow okay so uh, you don't need to do anything okay it is very easy um, let's say uh, let me just first change the color of the original text okay i will say blue 
all right um something like dark blue okay um yes uh now the the color of the shadow will be something light blue okay um yes okay all right and now you have to just copy this one okay and uh, okay and place a comma here okay and just copy these like 8 to 10 times okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay i think 9 will be enough and you have to change these values also okay so this will be 2 2 okay so let me just do this real quick so here it is and uh, remove this extra comma all right so if i will just save it you can see a 3d effect in our website okay so how cool it is looking okay so this is how you can create a 3d text effect in your website with the help of text shadow okay and you can even increase further to make it look even more real okay and uh, that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one